cybersecurity threats from around the world are ramping up, and so are recruiting efforts to fight them, opening up hundreds of thousands of jobs that need to be filled. CNBC got an exclusive look at how the federal government is trying to woo these workers, specifically women. Kayla Tausche has a story from the Pentagon. Good morning, Morgan. There are currently half a million cybersecurity jobs open in the U.S., and about 5,000 of those are at the Department of Defense. And while the Pentagon says that its cyber workforce is 23 percent women, the industry overall is just 19 percent, and that is well behind other sectors. So to pique the interest of students, and specifically female students, Raytheon and federal agencies are sponsoring a cybersecurity competition where the winners get FaceTime with potential employers. Mariah Kenny's winning status got her a job at CrowdStrike. She said that her interest was first piqued by a couple of college courses that initially uh, dismayed her, but she stuck with it. These two guys taught a student taught course on cybersecurity, and so I took that. Super interesting. Only understood like half of it. Florida senior Claire Seiler is eyeing a similar career path, and she's now interning at Raytheon. The problems that um, we face in cybersecurity have real world consequences. So the difference between not solving a problem in cybersecurity and solving it is the difference between millions of people having their data leaked out or having their data be protected. The Pentagon's Deputy Chief Information Officer, Essie Miller, says that is the exact pitch that she's trying to make. If it is about money, obviously we can't compete. But if it's about mission, focused on what we do for the nation, and also a penchant to serve, we win every time. Now, clearly, there's an arms race between the government and the tech industry to woo some of these workers. Miller says that deregulating some of the hiring processes has helped them to compete, but they still need to do more to get in front of those students at the ground level in college and also in high school and before. Kayla, I love this story. Uh, cyber is such a big focus for the Pentagon, for the DOD right now. Uh, when I think about the criteria that's required just for people to be able to roll, enroll in the armed services, it's a very small fraction of the population that even qualify. I would imagine that that um, bar jumps even higher when you're talking about cyber jobs. How quickly can the DOD fill these positions? Well, that's one myth that I think the DOD here is trying to bust. Because when you think cybersecurity, you generally think of people in a situation room behind a computer trying to thwart an active threat. And Miller says that the 5,000 cyber jobs that are open, they touch accounting, they touch legal, they touch lobbying. They are all across the board. And they said that they're actually able to prioritize some of those offensive jobs in cyber from some of the defensive jobs, and that they're really able to prioritize the ones where an immediate threat is present. That's where they're focused in the near term.